I think it's important for us to look at the facts and not uh, a bunch of hypothetical uh, pronouncements. Uh, and the fact is that, for example, in the Trans-Pacific Partnership that we've negotiated, uh, you have countries that right now have very few labor rights that now are required to have labor rights and, by the way, can be enforced uh, by workers the same way that corporations have. You have environmental provisions that now are fully enforceable and that raise standards in countries that may not even have, uh, up until this point, any serious environmental uh, laws in place. Uh, and so if you look point by point, the issue is not whether or not there's going to be trade. The issue is going to be under what terms. And I believe that countries like the United States, countries like Germany that already have high standards, that already uh, make sure that uh, uh, how businesses operate uh, are not completely uh, based on profit, but are also based on the common good, uh, that that improves rather than detracts from uh, the kinds of progressive goals that brought me into office in the first place. Otherwise, I wouldn't support these laws.